Greetings and welcome to Florence Ballard A3060, home of the Hot Point 9530A, Miele W562 washing machines and the greatest girl group of all time, the Supremes. Hey guys, so this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, we actually meaning to do it last Tuesday, but I've been so busy with everything else, so I've um, not really been able to. I'm back to another ironing video. Oh, I bet you that's what you all must be thinking. But this is quite a special one for me, actually. And it was a very special one for me, and it's, um, I'm, I'm glad to be going back to it, really. I've got this and one other to do, but I'm not sure I'll be able to do the other one. Okay, so, you all know I get my irons from British Heart Foundation, which means I don't, I get them for free because they're scraps. You know, they're irons that don't get sold. Or they're irons that they're just telling me, just have it. You know, no one's going to want to sell this one. I always, and I take them and repair them. But. I decided to, seeing as everything's been booked for my holiday to Texas, decided to go and treat myself to an iron that was on offer in in Tesco. This is an iron that I've been wanting for a very, very long time. Well, okay, two years, but I've been wanting it. I've probably been seeing these kind since I was little, very similar ones. Um, and this is my dream iron, my favourite iron, you know, my most favourite iron that I could ever want. <clears throat> Originally priced at 109 no, 104.95. Came down to 70 pound, then to 50, and then it came down to 28 pound. It's on clearance. I present to you a Rowenta Steam Force model DW9230. I like the electric blue version, the DW9280, but unfortunately that's not available in this country. It's only either available in Germany or America. And it seems to be available in America more. This is the first iron. This is the third of twenty-six irons that I, I have a, t a grand total of twenty-six steam irons. Um, with the loss of one happening soon, I'm taking one apart to repair one that I got because I actually got a second iron uh, from British Art Foundation on Friday, which it was a Tesco one that I got. Just thought because Mum needs new iron, so I might repair it and then give it to her. Um, so this is one that I've been seeing for ages. There's this and the DW, I think it's the 5110G. I don't know, I might be wrong. Yeah, DW5110G is the blue one, but it doesn't have, this one has an inbuilt steam generator at the back. The only one I'm not doing it on the table, the table is used for my Care Bears, so, uh, and my Dyson fan really to sit on, so I've got to use my bed, but I don't mind doing that. <clears throat> so it's a nice red colour, red, like a very, sort of burgundy, well, it was like a sort of electric red colour. Um, bloody hell. 2,750 watt max. Jesus, that's the highest, that's the highest voltage iron like that I've got. That's, that's like the highest current iron that I've got. Wow. <clears throat> I love the name though, Rowenta. I always love that name. And the fact it's a steam force. The DW51110G is the steam focus. Um, and then they've got the Eco Intelligence one, DW6010G, which is available from, I think it's a Debenhams exclusive model. Um, <clears throat> that's priced at like £110, I think it was, or something. No, it's priced at 70 it was, I think. No, it's 110 it came down to 70 but they are not reducing it any more than that. And you can see it's proudly made in Germany, the same com same place that Miele comes from. Did I say these are like the Miele of irons, really. Um, I don't know if they've won the... I don't know if they are the best buy for irons, but I know that Rowenta are very good. This is my fourth Rowenta. Would ideally have been my fifth if that um, the Sur the Surfline Inox one that we got in December, if that one had survived and not gone faulty like it did, we would have um, we would have actually had it still here. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to get unboxing this. <coughs> um, I might just switch on my. Okay, I've just pushed that back way too far. I might just switch on my lights. Do, 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 do. I should really cut this out. <laughs> Bloody hell, that's gonna be bright. But but it's the only way to do it. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is just amazing to see it in the box. It's not much packaging around it, I'll definitely say that. Oh my 
God. I've been waiting for this moment for ages to actually own one of these irons. Because I said, even if this came into British Heart Foundation, I would never have taken it. I wanted this to be an iron that I brought with my wages, and I thought, you know what? I probably wasn't going to pay full price for it, but... I might as well just lift... Oh, my... Oh, God, I dropped the iron. Oh, my God! And it even comes in this, a little... Look at that. That is so smooth, like, micro steam profile laser and precision shot. Look at the precision tip on that. That's a proper, proper chunky iron, that is. Um, yeah, DW923A0, DE64711, DE64711, so that's we, oh, November, that's a November 2016 model then. Right, so it is actually more modern than my Russell Hoff Supreme Steam. Oh, wow, just... That is like, it doesn't even look like an iron. It's just like so futuristic. Um, this lifts off here. I've got some Vaporess for this as well that I can use. And that's where you pour your water in. Now then. Let's see what else we get. Tips from ironing experts, we also get that in there. Oh, wow. That is just... <gasps> There's your Steam Force steam generator in there. I bet that's going to be bloody powerful. I like that, you got your... What also has that? My Philips irons have that. Some of my Philips ones, they've got the steam. Oh, that's your spray. Your spray there. Ah, oh, your steam is here. And you have a... Looks, you've got a sign that looks like a little muffin on there. <laughs> looks like a muffin. And as your spray comes out there, and it jets it across like that. But it's got steel, like... Wow, oh my God. Self-clean button there. I would love to see the self-clean of a Rowenta. And your temperature dial there. So, model DW5110G, the Steam Focus model below this, it's identical to this, um, but it doesn't have the Steam Force part of the back. This is also coming to Texas with me. <laughs> That's going to go in my suitcase. Um, but we're doing a review, re uh, a review of the hotel's iron as well. You're not going to use scented water. Mm. All right, I'll still use mine though. And the instruct. Oh, hang on. It's my warranty. Is it an international guarantee? You'll be seeing a lot of these in America. I know that for sure. There you go. DW9230. Wow. Some great things in the user manual there. I'll show you how futuristic that nice cord. Ah, oh, it's got a swivel cord as well, not just a back and forth one or side to side. Right, let's get, a, let's get a closer look, shall we? Right, so here's a closer look at this iron. Look how futuristic that looks. Rowenta Steam Force, 2750 watt max. It's an anti drip and it's, oh my gosh, 220 gram shot. That's like more than any of my guys already getting dust on her. So there's your Steam Force compact steam generator. settings, torque screw, not that I'd ever need to take that apart, swivel cord, so look there's your self clean function, made in Germany like Miele, oh, all for steam, this is the top of the range for a winter as well, <clears throat> 
And there's your spray. You can see it's angled downward. This pops open. Pour your water in there. At least it's not at a funny angle or anything. It's quite a light like that though. Look at that high. It even says high precision. That's one thing Rowentas are known for. But look how chunky that is. I mean, I can't really compare it. If I put my hand on top though, you'll... I, my irons that I have there, some of them are quite thin. That's my whole collection there. Excuse the mess in my room. I'm just currently getting ready to pack. Because it's actually tomorrow that I go to Texas. Not tomorrow, sorry. It's Thursday that I go. Texas. <laughs> See? So that'd be obviously maximum or no steam. So it looks like a little muffin. See? Anti drip as well. Right. Oh no, just means to be able to tipping it. And then. <clears throat> Your rating sticker. C4616. Carl Ben Strasser. That's not where Miele are located, is it? No. There's your soul plate. Look. I don't have many that have the brand underneath. Laser. <laughs> well, that is precision shot. I can't wait to start testing that. I can't wait to play with this. Really can't. I'm waiting to get one of these. I'm so glad I got one. I might get the 5110G as well. Okay, without further ado, let's get some ironing done. Rowenta style. Okay, so here we go. Unravel the little safety sign. Got a nice chunky plug. BSI, it's an ASTA, ASTA plug, or whatever that is. Okay, here we go. What the hell? It just buzzed. Your little light. And I've got some Comfort Vaporess uh, Fresh Sky, which is actually what, uh, same kind of conditioner that I use in the washing machines, actually. In the 9530. Oh, guys, yes, I've got to tell you something about the 9530, actually, and it's not good. But it's good, but not good. <clears throat> uh, there are some people that know. Oh, that smells lovely. You guys thought I was going to drink that, probably, didn't you? Don't want to spill it. Oh, you can see it in the tank there. I'll just pour that much in because I'm not going to use too much. I'm seeing some smoke. Looks like smoke. It's probably just it burning new, probably because it's new. Maybe it's picked up some dust off my blanket or something. Um, yeah, I'll just get that there. I've got to find another place for it to go. Keep my phone there. Okay. That's obviously heating to maximum temperature. I can't wait. I'm using steam. Whoa. I like that already. Oh, it like... Whoa. I've never seen one of these in action, so... Let's see, ready? Whoa. Or oh, if I do the other side. It's not bad, actually. I think it needs to get fired up a bit more though, hang on, just move the ironing board. Here we go. I'm ironing a surf parad... Wow, I'm telling you something. Whoa! I'm te oh, that smells so nice. I'm telling you something, that is so smooth, the way it just glides. It's like... Okay, I think I need to switch that off. It's throwing all the water out everywhere. Mm. I've been waiting to use Vaporest for quite a while, so I'll dry. Should I do should we test the water spray, shall I? Whoa, quite good coverage. Mm, I like that actually. Mmm. 
It's not using any steam. Oh, it's actually like a button. Buzzing. <laughs> it releases quite a lot of steam there. And it throws water everywhere, I like that. Oh, you can smell the new of the iron. I, th I remember that with the Supreme Steam. <coughs> oh, God. It's quite good though, hang on. I'm gonna stop the video here so you can get a closer view. So this is with the iron. That's me, I'm just spraying that voluntarily. Uh. <laughs> like three shots in one. Ready? Hey, signature Rowenta sound, eh? That's slower. Okay, so fast and slow side, is there? Gets within all the little creases there. That's, it's like a pen sort of tip. And you can get, get close in. Oh, you can see that better than I can. Yeah, if I look. Look at that. Oh. That's funny, the steam just evaporated right away. <clears throat> and get just get that last bit there. Blooming egg. Wow, that is proper good. It's like look, it's like this, hang on. Look. Lifts off. No. But I'll better watch out in case any drops on the floor. Uh. Went so much ready. Send it back. I like that. Oh! Go on, let's just see the amazing steam again. Buzzing. It's an anti calcium one as well. Okay guys, well I hope you really enjoyed that video as much as I did. I think to be honest, to, I'd say that's my favourite ironing video. That was my brand new Rowenta Steam Force model w, no, it's DW9230 2750 watt steam iron that I got. My th a third purchased iron, that is. It's just cooling down now, ready to be put in the suitcase. Um, <clears throat> so yes guys, uh, tomorrow's Wednesday the 28th. I'll fly out on Thursday the 29th and I'll be vlogging the entire journey. Pro literally from the moment I get out of bed, I'll be vlogging. I'll do from when I first wake up in the morning, yes. So I'm going to look a right state when I wake up. Um, to when I'm out, the, getting ready to leave the door, getting on the train and everything. I'll vlog as much as I can. Um, the only thing I won't be able to vlog is probably filming in the airport in America. I'm not too sure. Um, I'm going to see about my cabs and everything and then we just get taken to the hotel. I can't believe it's actually happening, but guys, it's it's happening. Um, I'm going to say, there's going to be a few, a good few changes. There's <clears throat> going to be a good few changes when I go to Texas. I'm going to be changing the whole idea of my intros and everything. In Texas, there's going to be no set song for my intro. It's going to be 
whatever corresponds with the day. Um, as I said, depending on the people that I'm going with, uh, depends what they want to do with vlogs. Uh, um, sorry, pardon me. I said I was going with someone called Princess Brown. Um, well, what's going to be happening is I might, if things turn out well, I could be going to Arkansas. Um, as I said, once again, there are people who know the reason because of this, and I'm not going to reveal it out on on camera because I don't want anyone knowing anything just yet. Um, this is all a bit of a surprise. Um, the reason I won't tell you the true reason I'm going to Texas is because <clears throat> certain certain people um, certain people might go and spoil it for me. But there, are, if anyone's watching, who knows about it, then yes, you you know what why I'm going to Texas, and it isn't because of Diana Ross. I think you know, I think a lot of people are gathered to know that. So I just get a bit nervous talking about it. Um, Right, <clears throat> now then, I said to you that there's something not very good about the hot point. And if I can look here. Hot point experts, you'll know what this is. It's a carbon brush. <clears throat> What's happened with the hot point? It's not broken, it's just faulty. It's just, you know, wear and tear. First of all, the cold water solenoid valve has packed up on one side meaning it, the machine does not fill through the pre-wash compartment so that means it doesn't work on the rinse i've had to swap the two tubes around and the wiring to get it to now fill everything through the pre-wash compartment which means it doesn't fill for the final rinse so i have to pour in the conditioner myself so i'm looking so i've got a guy called gary thompson who a lot of people know in the washer groups he's uh he's like a, a complete he's incomplete and you know he's just an he's an absolute angel for washing machine, um, <clears throat> you know, parts. He helped revive the 9530 when a coin got stuck in it and how to get me, he talked me through how to get the front panel off. Second of all, yesterday while the machine was washing, um, it was doing some, what was it washing? It was doing my, it was doing my hol holiday clothes that I got. And I could hear a sort of arcing sound as it was turning, very much similar to what happened to Service Gems Hotpoint 9564A, his Micro Profile 1400 Deluxe, which still happened and obviously that machine died later on, but anyway. So I just thought maybe it's something caught in the drum, but then I noticed it was doing it every time it was spinning and every time it was slowing down it wasn't, every time the power was cut off the motor it was alright. So... I opened up the lid, got it on a spin, and I noticed that the motor was flashing. And I thought, crikey, I'm going to need a new armature. So I didn't use the machine. I have completely cut it off from the power and everything. And then today I got the one of the carbon brushes out, and I found the thing was bloody worn down to the bone. Because obviously that machine is used as my daily driver, because I don't have any other machine to play with. So the hot point, in, in essence, actually gets more use than the Miele does. Which means the machine's obviously strained a lot more, you know... We don't know what hot point carbon brushes are, but apparently these are, this is not a genuine hot point one, and even I don't think it looks like, but you can see that it's well worn down to the bone, that is. So no wonder that machine was arcing. So I've got uh, Gary Thompson, he's going to send me some new ones for when I get back from, um, when I get back from, from Texas. I'm going to have the 953 up and running again. Um, I was going to say, there's someone I want to really give a shout out to here, who um, I think they need their channel to be made more popular. I hope they've made it this far into the video. Um, you guys might remember last year in August I mentioned this friend I knew off Instagram. Her username is GamerQueen88 and as I think you've just seen it on the screen there. Um, she recently, she was meant to start videos last year but she didn't start until until this year. Uh, she's going to be doing a lot of vlogs, a bit, little bit like how I do some now and again. Um, and I think she's doing a lot of games, her main interest is games, you know, like computer games, Xbox games, very much how like my interest is washing machines, that's her main interest. Um, she's been an absolute brilliant friend to me, she's very young, so, you know, please, you know, give her support, um, you know, and I want her channel to become quite popular because people who are a good friend, who are that good of a friend to me and they got a YouTube channel, do you know what, I'll always make sure your channel becomes popular. Um, you know, she was the first person that I really actually ever told, um, about about my interest to and who I could really trust. And we've we've always had quite a lot of laughs about she she's a massive massive fan of Florence Ballard, um a Supremes fan. She's probably a bigger fan than I am. And that's saying something. Well, as everyone knows, I'm more into the Beach Boys into the Beach Boys than I am into the Supremes, but <clears throat> 
Even still, she's a bigger fan of Florence Ballard than I am, and I just want you all to give her some support and definitely sh spread the word of her channel, Gamer Queen eighty eight. It's a very unique, unique way of spelling it. Um, yes. So if you look for my channel, she's the picture with that. She's. I think she's still got a slushy or something. Slurpee. She's drinking it. So yeah, that's her. She actually lives in Texas. Surprisingly, I don't know whereabouts, but um, it might be somewhere where I'm going. I don't know. I'm staying in Dallas. Well, Denton, which is 45 minutes away from Dallas. I am spending a day in Dallas with someone. I'm not saying who. Um, <laughs> and um, then I'm going down to Sugarland for two days and then probably going to Arkansas. Uh, depends on the situation of things. So if not, then we can do. But I'll talk you through tomorrow what's happening with um, Texas, really. I'll just give you a brief thing of what's going on. Because I'll, I'll do another ironing video. I think we'll throw one in and get all the appliances done here. Okay guys, so that wraps it up for this video. As I said, please go and subscribe and s spread the word of Gamer Queen 88. Her name's Danika. I'm not I'm not going to say all her full name, but her name's Danika. She's a very friendly girl to talk to and you know, she's 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 quite she's probably the calmest gamer that I know. I know she disagrees, but I I would say she's the calmest gamer I know because I know some people get really angry when they play games. I don't play games myself, but I know the stress of seeing it. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that and yeah, I can't wait to bring you all along to Texas with me. Um, so as I just say, as always, expect some new, uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow though what's to be expected in Texas and my intros and whatnot. So don't forget guys, we're going to wrap it up there. I'll also give you support for the Hotpoint 9530, Barbara, she's very ill. <laughs> nah, she'll be up and running again, she's a 30 year old, 31 year old machine but she'll keep going. So guys, don't forget, keep it supreme and go with the flow.